Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Adam here from Cape Crawlers, and this is the exclusive first look at the FCX24 Max Smasher. Since releasing the FCX24 Power Wagon earlier this year, FMS Hobby has been really busy both refining the line by offering more variations and different accessories. They've also gone the other way and really addressed consumers' concerns when it came to quality control for the models themselves. They've offered us metal portal gears as standard in the newer options to replace the plastic units, which stripped out really easy in prior versions. They're offering metal differential gears to replace the plastic sets in existing models. They've just done a really good job listening to us, the consumers, and also pumping out fresh variations of this thing. At the time of this recording, we're approaching Halloween, and we've got a bunch of Halloween variations of the Power Wagon that have custom paint and decals, but also include a scale bed, which is really cool. So they're they're adding accessories, they're refining the line, they're addressing our concerns. It's just great to see the activity around the 124 crawler market from FMS. They've taken that momentum and they've continued to expand the line. And the newest addition to the FCX 24 line is the new Max Smasher monster truck. And we are very fortunate to have our hands on a pre-release model so that I can give you this exclusive first look at this thing. This is a very cool rig. It's got these awesome, big, soft, squishy monster truck tires and many of the same features that we've grown to love on the FCX24 Power Wagon. The portal axles, the two-speed transmission, that metal geared servo. We've got the customized drag brake options on the transmitter. All the great stuff that we're used to in the FCX24 we get in this package. We also get this cool hard body with the monster truck setup. So why don't we take a closer look? Let's open the box and see what we've got in here, and then we'll take a closer look at the rig itself. Here it is, the Max Smasher. Let's open it up. So I've already had this thing out, been running it for a couple of weeks now, but let's take a look in the box and see what you get when you open this thing up. Here's the box here, very similar to the FCX24. Has your specs, that's kind of the overview. Has the blue one on the cover. I wish I'd gotten the blue one. I'm a huge fan of the Bigfoot monster truck. The Bigfoot monster truck was like a such a staple in my childhood. I've got the blue one coming, but for this video, I only had the white one. In any case, let's take a look. Let's open this thing up. Much like the FCX24 Power Wagon, you get this styrofoam casing with the FMS logo stamped on the top. Inside, you get the decal diagram. Now the decals are something that I wanna get into a little later, but you do have to apply all of your own stickers to this thing. Now on the white one, I believe the white has much more stickers than the blue one does, but it gives you a good outline of this. I didn't have any trouble putting them on. They're just a little different than your traditional sticker because it comes in a sheet like this. You have to manually cut them out and then soak them in water and then place them on the rig. And then that's how you apply the stickers. So it's a little tedious, but manageable for sure. And the diagram's easy to read and the stickers worked easy enough. You get the manual just like the FCX24. Here's the remnants of the stickers. So you can see it came on this cardboard sheet. I didn't use all of them and there are some extras. So that's your sticker sheet. When you open this up, it will come as one kind of a postcard sized piece of cardboard that you cut out with your stickers. Just like the FCX24, you get your accessory kit here. This is a ready to run model. So it comes with everything that you need to get it going. It does not have batteries for the transmitter, but it does have everything else to get you up and running. Got your battery charger. We have our kind of multi tool here. In any case, you got your tools. You've got spare differential gears. So again, this comes with the plastic gears by the looks of it. I didn't open it up to see if it has metal differential gears. I know that it has metal portal gears, but it looks like it has plastic differential gears. So you do get a set, an extra set of differential gears, which is good. 
again like the fcx24 comes with the o-ring kit to convert the stock coilover shocks to an oil-filled shock now i did this modification to my power wagon and it worked really good and it was really easy to do so that's just a really neat feature that they offer and it's great that the stock shocks are capable of being oil filled like that because i felt like they worked really well with the oil so that's what you get in the box when you open it up why don't we take a closer look at the rig itself now here is the rig itself so very cool looking rig it's got this nice square body it's got the hard body just like the fcx24 comes pre-painted in the white or the blue like i said we've got the white one for demonstration purposes here the blue one looks like it has a little bit of a metal flake on it i'm excited to see that one and see it in person so we'll see one of the first things i noticed was that these big monster truck tires are nice and soft and squishy they are noticeably softer than the Endura monster truck tires that we have on our gladiator they've got a good amount of squish to them they're really nice and pliable they feel really good so they are definitely a nice tire for the monster truck here i also noticed that the body is much more scale so one of the things that i noticed and a lot of people have commented on with the power wagon is that it looked more like a 18th scale whereas this is much more like a true 24th scale body and i really like that i think it fits the chassis really well it's got a nice balanced look and a much more kind of appropriate scale look if we were to compare this to the gladiator you can see that it is indeed a much more scaled appearance it almost looks well i don't know i think it's very very close to a true 24 scale yeah i think so you know this square body is obviously a different style than the gladiator it the body is a little more narrow about the same length so definitely a much more true to scale 24th scale body here which i again like i said i like that a lot so it looks really good while we're here we can take a look at the tires compared to the endura monster truck tires that are on the gladiator from a height perspective they're very very close the enduras might be a little bit taller they are a little bit taller i think noticeably wider but like i said they're they're much stiffer and the lugs themselves are not as deep as they are in the max smasher so i think from a tire perspective i think that the monster truck tires on the max smasher are superior because i like the softness of them i like the deep treads i think that's a, a, an improvement with the tires let's look at it against a power wagon to kind of give you a sense of how it stacks up to the power wagon so here it is with the power wagon my son's power wagon please excuse the looks of this poor beat up thing but at least gives you an idea of how the scale compares to the power wagon and you know again going back to the the true 24 scale look just look at the width of the bodies here the max smasher the pickup body much narrower looks much more appropriate for this scale the power wagon is just being kind of a big monstrous looking thing here the proportions aren't nearly as on with the power wagon as they are with the max smasher i feel it just has a really nice look to it continuing on with this thing so again you get the you get the hard body pre-painted it comes with the it has the same clip mechanism as the fcx24 it has four body clips rapid release they call them what you do is you just squeeze these tabs together and pop the body off we broke one very early on i will warn you that when you squeeze these just be cautious not to over squeeze them because this one in the back is bending and we did break one very easily in the front these other three are hanging on here i find that the body is easier to open than the power wagon my son and i both have very little trouble opening this one up underneath the body you'll see the same familiar fcx24 platform We've got the 130 sized brushed motor. Turn that around so you can see it. The same motor transmission combo, the same ESC, very, very similar to the FCX24. If we look at the transmitter, same transmitter as the FCX24. You get the same setup here with your, you can adjust the reverse function here. You've got your adjustable drag brake. 
so you can adjust how intense you want the drag break turn it off entirely with the reverse functionality you can have the pause in between or you can go straight from reverse to acceleration and so on all customizable on the transmitter here typical adjustments here steering trim throttle trim reverse the throttle reverse the steering on the side again we've got these controls here for the headlights so this is your headlights here with the button and you've got your two-speed transmission operated with the flip of the switch here so high speed neutral low speed just like the fcx24 you also get mechanically you also get the coilover suspension at all four corners oil capable just like we talked about earlier just like the fcx24 you get the same portal axles front and back these come standard with the metal portal gears, which is fantastic, so you don't have to worry about stripping these out. Metal geared servo. So a lot of great features that we're already familiar with. So mechanically, this is very similar to the FCX24. One of the differences is in the differential itself. So this comes with an open differential. And open differentials are great from a handling perspective and turning radius, especially for something like this monster truck, because what it allows it to do is that each tire can spin at different speeds since the open differential is transferring the same amount of power to each tire the tire that has the least amount of resistance is able to spin faster so if you're going on a tight turn you've got a lot of traction here in the in the inside wheel this outside wheel can spin faster giving you a really tight turning radius where that kind of hurts you from a rock crawling perspective is when you come up against a hard obstacle, let's say you come up against a, a rock right here, say, the motor is gonna transfer power equally and the wheel that has the least amount of traction is gonna spin the most. So what you find and what I've found personally taking this thing out on the rocks is that you run up against an obstacle, this wheel stops, this wheel just spins. So you have to kind of back up and then you kind of use your power and momentum to bump up over obstacles. So something to keep in mind there. But you, know, you got to think, if you want a rock crawler, the FCX24 Power Wagon is probably your best bet. But if you want to just bash around and do monster truck stuff, then this is a great option because the open differential does make it handle very well. Compared to the monster truck Gladiator that we have, this thing just turns so tight and handles so well. And it's really evident on pavement and on hard surfaces that this thing has just a really tight turning radius and handles really, really well. It's just a cool feature and works really well with the monster truck setup. From a fit and finish perspective, yeah, I think this thing is done pretty well. You know, I was a little disappointed in how quickly the stickers wore off. My son took this, you know, no surprise, my son Axel took this from me almost immediately. Thankfully, I was able to get some content and some pictures before he took it out and thrashed it and rashed up the body all over the place and marred up a lot of the stickers. The stickers were very kind of cumbersome to put on. It was just tedious, I would say, you know, having to soak them in water, place them on there. I should have let them dry, I think, a lot longer than I did. You know, we were just so excited to get this thing out that we just kind of stuck them on there and then ran it. And I think that that's probably why they came off as easy as they did. They seem to be pretty solid now. So when you put your stickers on, I would advise you to put them on cautiously, methodically, and then let them dry. You know, let it sit for a couple hours at least. Let these stickers cure and dry. And then I think you'd be much better off. We were just too impatient and just ran this thing and ended up scraping some of the stickers off. I've got a new sticker sheet coming to get this thing back to its original glory. But that's my word of advice to you all is when you put the stickers on, just be patient and let them dry. And then they're, they're in a much better position. The body itself, it has taken a little bit of a beating. I was a little bummed out at how quickly it looked really worn. Granted, my son is not easy on things, but you, know, you can see in just a, a couple of the corners, you know, it got beat up, it got really rashed up kind of in here in the front and on the corners of the cab. And with the white, 
it's really difficult to not see those things because the dirt gets in those scratches and it's just really noticeable. But hey, we bought it to use it. It's not a shelf green. It's going to get beat up. So mechanically and structurally, it's held up really well. Like I said, we did break one of the body clips very early on. And that's probably just for me, just with my fat fingers, just going that hulking it a little bit and squeezing too hard and breaking one of the tabs off. So when I learned to be a little more cautious with the tabs, then we haven't had any issues. They've worked good since. My son has thrashed this thing. He's taken it off of jumps. He's taken it bouncing off of rocks at the beach. He's taken it off our, off our deck. He's run at full speed straight off the steps. So it's tough, I got to say. It uh, has held up to some abuse thus far and has taken everything that he's given it. So let's talk driving impressions. I'm gonna give you my feedback based on my experience with this in a few different scenarios. First, let's talk about what it does best. It is a riot in high speed monster truck stuff. It does the best at hitting jumps, tackling obstacles, modest obstacles fast and just hammering over stuff wheelies nose wheelies all that stuff it does extremely well that two-speed transmission and the power plant that this thing has it is so much fun it's so fast in second gear and it's just a riot you know mess with your reverse settings and your drag brake settings and you can set this thing up to stand right up on its nose super easy and then rip up in a wheelie with no problems it's a ton of fun doing just monster truck stuff you know, my son, we set up ramps and he ramps this thing off of some big jumps and with the coilover suspension and the big tires, it handles that stuff like a champ, no problem. It's really balanced also. So when you do jump it, it's not super nose heavy or rear end heavy. It's just, it's really fun. It does a great job with that monster truck freestyle stuff. The turning radius is excellent. It handles really good. It's got a super tight turning radius. It's wild how well this thing handles and how easily it turns with the monster truck tires. I was really shocked, especially on pavement and on concrete, like in the, our basement here or in our driveway, the thing just handles like a go-kart, tiny little go-kart. It just like zips in and out wherever you want it. Very great handling. Now, where it does struggle a little bit is on the actual rock crawling so if you're buying this to be a rock crawler i would consider steering you towards something else like the power wagon because mechanically the way this thing is set up with the open differential it can cause some frustration on kind of hardcore rock crawling because you get into that situation where you know it's just not grabbing like you're used to if you are a crawler guy like me so the slow speed crawler stuff it seems to struggle with and I think that's just, it's not what it's made for. You know, if you want to go hardcore, slow speed crawling, you've got the power wagon. Works fantastic in that situation. This is more of a high speed kind of, a, you know, it, it's a monster truck. And it does monster truck stuff really well. But like on our rock course here in the backyard, it was a little frustrating because it just couldn't crawl that well because of the differential setup and how it works mechanically. But take it off the rocks in a more subtle setting and it's a blast super super fun final thoughts on the fcx 24 max smasher what do i think i really like it i think it's a cool little rig i like the looks i'm a diehard monster truck fan the square body look and particularly in the blue with the bigfoot appearance to it really just tugs at my heartstrings because man bigfoot the monster truck was such an integral part of my childhood this thing just brings back so many wonderful memories of my monster truck days and now getting to kind of relive that with my little boy is so much fun so i've got a soft spot for this thing already just because of the appearance and the fun factor so i i definitely like it for a lot of those reasons but i also have to say You've got to give FMS credit for continuing to put out great variations of this already successful FCX24 platform. Not only are they continuing to kind of work the bugs out as they go along, 
they're also providing new and exciting models that appeal to a different audience. You know, this is not going to be like your hardcore rock crawler, not as capable as the FCX24, at least not out of the box, but you get the great features like, you know, you get the 130 motor, the two speed transmission, you still get the portal axles and the coilover suspension. You get a lot of the great capabilities and mechanical features that you get from the FCX24. FMS has tweaked this just enough to appeal to a broader range of customers, I think. So it's just great to see what they're doing. They are certainly still on the gas and keeping the momentum going. It's great to see them opening up the line and offering different model variations of this FCX24 platform. This, I've said it in other videos, this has just been a great year for the 24 scale in general. Just getting options like this out there, variations of successful models, it just opens up the customer base and the more people we can onboard into the hobby, the better. And I think this is a great addition to the FCX24 lineup and the 24 scale lineup in general. I think it will appeal to more customers, different customers, and get more folks into the hobby, which is always great. So to sum it up and bring this thing home, the Max Smasher. This is a great little rig, super fun, just like the FCX24 Power Wagon, just a blast to drive. The Monster Truck Edition just adds another layer of fun to it. I would like to see a way to lock the differential, and I'm sure there'll be a way to do it with aftermarket support or tweaking. That way that I can get my crawler fix and take advantage of the monster truck platform. But that's just me. If you're looking for just a fun, capable monster truck RC right out of the box, this thing has got you covered. It's got fun in spades. This will be released on October 24th. Price point is going to be right around $159, I believe. Still competitive within that 124 crawler space, which is a, a lot of bang for the buck for what you get for this thing. You know, the the hard body, the more scaled hard body, portal axles, the two-speed transmission, this great power plant. Just a lot of bang for the buck here and a really fun rig. That's going to wrap it up for this video. This was just a quick one just to get this information out to you, give you a first look at this new rig from FMS Hobby. Very cool stuff. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of the Max Smasher? Did it meet your expectations? Are you going to pick one up? blue or white. Let's get the conversation started. Want to hear from you guys as always. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so. Stay tuned for more content around this thing. You know we're going to modify and customize it. It's going to be fun. I'm hoping to get the blue one soon and when I do I'll have some content for that as well so we can check out the white and the blue together. We'll also do some comparisons against the SCX24 monster truck. It's going to be a good time. We're going to have a lot of fun with this thing and I'm going to bring you a bunch of content featuring it. So keep an eye out for all that good stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm excited to share it with you. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next video.